I just got back from a little adventure and I thought I should document this experience because it doesn't happen often that I leave the house. I got Starbucks. Very exciting. So you might not be able to see, but I have a face mask on right now, hair mask in. It's uh, 1 p.m. Still in my house coat. Tuesday, the day of my daughter's birth, December 8th. Very exciting, she's nine years old. I've got a nice dinner planned with my dad later, with presents and all the fun things. So she's had like a twofold birthday. The party last weekend with the friends and then the party today for the actual birthday. But first, we are starting our day. Um, this is not working for me. This very messy desk. We've gotta do a little tidy. So let's do the five minute tidy. Having a clean and organized workspace uh, is, is paramount to my creativity because otherwise I feel very overwhelmed, like it's just too much. So anyway, time to start my day. I'm feeling great. Um, I will admit though, I am really sore on my right hip. So I think I may have to take a break from kickboxing tomorrow just to like heal, because that's, that's so annoying when you just want to like go and give her hardcore, but you can't. Anyway, I'm segueing. Okay, time to hit the ground running with some work. My dad will be here later today and I'm looking forward to this day. It's a celebration. My baby is nine. Hello, hello. So I'm setting up the bed down in the basement here for my dad. Huge delivery over there. Share more about that in a little bit. But in the meantime, let's make the bed. If you hear my children in the background, it's because they've all lost their minds. It's the second break in their day for virtual learning. Good enough. All right, so now it's time for coffee. Dad will be here in about an hour, so I've got a little bit more work left to do, and then uh, my day is done. And also, time. yes, it's my, si it's my sister's birthday. It is. And also, there's a balloon on the top of the ceiling. There is a balloon on the ceiling. So I cut it. <laughs> Big celebration tonight. Yellow. Grandpa's here, we're celebrating. Hey! Uh -huh. Dean's cooked a fabulous dinner. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Rocking out, whoa, how's it going? You can't hear what I'm no, we can't. walking out no. to, so Ooh, that's some. Um, mashed, mashed potatoes. Dinner's coming. Esme's still on her call, so I set up a surprise birthday call with her two BFFs that actually, you probably, if you've been around for a long time, they're from our old house. It was our neighbor from our old house, and then there was a little girl that lived down the road. Those two girls happen to be cousins, and so Esme's maintained a really nice friendship with them. So they're still doing their Zoom call. It's been an hour. They're now playing Among Us, having the time of their life. Perfect. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So you might not be able to see, but I have a face mask on right now, hair mask in. It's uh, 1 p.m. Still in my house coat. I woke up this morning and realized, well actually pretty much last night as I was going to bed, I was chatting with my dad and oftentimes he and I will stay up late to chat, but I was just spent and I could tell he was tired. Lots of family time. We played games, we celebrated, we walked, we ate cake, we did all the things you do on a birthday, right? Um, but as I went to bed last night, I felt like, you know that tickle in your throat that's not illness related, but it's just like, hey girl, you need to go to bed. You've likely been talking too much because I spoke a ton yesterday and you need to um, rest. You, you know when you know yourself. And that's what I was feeling last night. So honestly, I'm working today, but it's at a much slower pace. 
Um, thankfully, I don't have any super pressing deadlines right now or today. So I'm just taking it easy. And I had a nice leisure lunch at my desk and I'm answering emails and my skin is like really, um, Another symptom of burnout for me is my skin starts to get blemishes really easy and it's probably twofold. One, lack of sleep. Then. Awesome! Lack of sleep, lack of water, those kinds of things. And the other thing is when I get stressed out, I touch my face. So, <clears throat> so anyway, just again, what's going on? Do that little check-in. I'm like, you need, you need to love yourself a little bit today. So today is a no workout day, uh, my body is a little bit sore, and I'm feeling run down, and my skin is a bit, you know, rawr, so face mask, I'm doing a hair mask, and I'm not rushing it. It's like, this is self-imposed pressures I often put on myself, and like nobody is saying, Amanda, this is the law, and this is what you need to do. It's literally all me, and I know that that is a side effect of who I am as a person, but also of these times, everything is so uncertain, so I have to be able to control something, and the only thing I can actually control is myself. So I put a lot of um, pressure on myself to do certain things at a certain time in a certain way. Point is, I'm letting my guard down today, and it feels great. So if you are anything like me, and you need a little reminder, or someone to give you a little nudge, like, you know, do some things for you, this is it, man. This is your... This is your sign. It's like, do the thing that's gonna make you feel good. And one of those things for me is watching The Crown. I just started season one. Oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna sit down as this is doing its thing and uh, watch an episode of The Crown right now as I respond to emails. Living my best life, living the dream. <laughs> I just got back from a little adventure and I thought I should document this experience because it doesn't happen often that I leave the house. Very exciting. Hey, so I just spent the last half an hour organizing the corner of chaos, which you don't usually see. <laughs> That's usually in the back. However, I have a bunch of clothes that we purged ages ago and we couldn't drop off at Value Village at the time. Um, I don't know if they're actually accepting donations, but anyway, I took down like six boxes and oh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But it's one of those things where I tend to leave it until it's a disaster, <laughs> like today. So anyways, um, here we are on Thursday and I've had a, like a good productive day because yesterday I took the biggest of rest days, did a touch of work in the morning, skipped my workout and then just watched The Crown all afternoon. It was glorious. And today I actually got together with my friend Jack. So. Long story short, um, Jack and I often text. This is the senior gentleman that lives near me. And we met in the summer and occasionally we text, but ever since like the weather got cold and we ended up inside, I just haven't seen him. I've been really keeping my distance, being safe. But here we are in December and you know, you start getting into some of the loneliest days of the year. And I thought, you know what? I could use someone to talk to. He could likely use a friend. So we chatted and I wore a mask and I brought my own drink and we sat very far apart and I like didn't use the bathroom. I like didn't go anywhere. I just sat on that one chair. Um, and it was really great to visit with him. And I stayed for about an hour and, and we chatted and we chatted and it was wonderful. You know, my intent for 2020 was really to be a better listener especially with what I do. I do a lot of this. And, um, you know, I notice like when I podcast, a great podcast is when a host listens. And so I'm trying my best to be a better host. I'm trying my best to be a better person, better friend. I don't always get it right, but it was really interesting because today I just did a whole lot of listening and it was just lovely. The story's just spilling out of him. He got quite emotional at one point. Um, and you don't know, right, how stories are going to hit you Maybe it's the third time he's told it. Maybe it's the hundredth time. Maybe he hasn't told it to anybody in a long time. And I had a great message from someone online saying, saying, you know, the trouble is, as we get older, our family gets a little less patient with our stories. Maybe they've heard them before. And um, you never know, like maybe it's just a new, fresh audience and it hit him a certain way. And anyway, it was a lovely, lovely time. And I feel, honestly, I feel like I got pep in my step today. It was really special. It was a really special time with him. It was lovely. Anyway, it's like a gift to myself, a new friendship. Good morning. 
Saturday. Woo On my way to get my hair cut. I'm very excited. I'm changing it. I think I'm over the blonde. So I'm gonna go talk to Courtney, which by the way, Courtney is my stylist. She's amazing. I'm gonna link her below. And uh, we're gonna talk about what I wanna do. And hopefully we can make it happen. We'll see. from the hair salon. Anyways, I just got back from Urban Planet and I actually picked up this outfit. Who am I? So comfy. I've decided for Christmas all I want is a loungewear. Anyway, but actually what I went there for was to find something for Esme to wear to her cheer practice today. Today's the last practice. And you know, I know as you're listening to this, I always feel like I have to have a bit of a disclaimer. Um, her cheer team has like 28 people, but they've split it up into groups of three so that it's 10 people or less. Everybody's wearing a mask. They're doing it very safe. But anyway, today is the last practice and it's Christmas themed. So they're like, wear your holiday jammies or whatever. And she doesn't really have any because she's been through a big growth spurt from last year to this year. So I went to Urban Planet knowing it's always really cheap. And I found her something super cute. I hope she likes it. First of all, they didn't really have jammies in her size, um, but I found these leggings, which I thought were super cute. A little camisole and then the Christmas sweater that lights up. I hope she likes it. I literally get giddy about doing that kind of stuff because I know that um, as a kid, I would have just loved like a random present on my bed, but we don't really have the finances for that. So I feel very grateful to be in a position where I can just pop into a store and pick her up something cute like this, something cute and small. Um, it feels pretty special. So I can't wait till she comes upstairs. Also, I just need to tell you how nice I just, I have some really good friends and my friend Anna popped by and dropped this off. 100K, my subscribers. She was the first person I met when I moved to the town I live. When I met her, I remember telling her what I did and I wasn't quite making an income off of my channel yet, but I had big aspirations and I remember sharing with her what I did and she was like, that's a thing? And now, now she and I like, we could talk about YouTube drama because she gets it. She follows the YouTube drama. I feel very blessed to have such good friends. Like tonight we're having a big Zoom call so you'll probably meet some of them. You don't always get to come by this kind of, these kind of amazing women. So I feel very grateful that they're in my life. Like reason number two, we're never gonna leave this city. I've hung photos and I have great friends. This is something that we've taken up ever since the start of the pandemic where we've just been lighting candles every night. Uh, we light them every night and we cheers. And sometimes we say, you know, we celebrate something. Um, if somebody had a milestone that day. And I found that this is one beautiful thing that's come out of the pandemic is that we have dinner together every night at the table. And I personally love it. Like I've always loved stopping the day and sharing meals together. That's one thing my mom really enforced growing up. I love that it's part of our tradition now. You'll have to tell me in the comments if you guys, you and your families or just you have started something positive in the pandemic that's impacted you like in a really nice way share it below i feel like it gives people really great ideas of things that they can do and small changes in their life Sparkles. This is what they're getting because you know, I just don't have anything sequin that I feel like wearing, so this is it. Cheers! Seven, we're gonna throw on a show of some kind. Dean and Esme went out to get some yummy little treats to nibble on. I asked for gummy worms, specifically the sour ones, and that's where we're at. So I'm gonna wrap it up for this week. Thank you for being here for another week in my life. Um, we got up to some stuff, had a little makeover. I'm still feeling it. You know, you gotta switch things up, I think. When the world is in chaos, control what you can. <laughs> I'm not sure that's good advice, but we're gonna go with it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.